Hello everybody. This video here I just wanted to show you guys my primary residence. Serenity Falls Estate here in uh, Reaper's March. This uh, property also serves as a guild hall for my guild here, the Kuza Clan. Uh, if anyone's interested in joining the guild after the video, feel free to hit me up on YouTube or find me in-game. My user ID, you can see right here, is at KingKuza. So anyway, we'll start with the tour. This is the entrance here, as you can see. Uh, the Kuza clan is a Khajiit-based uh, guild. Started off as a roleplay guild, now we're more of a PvE guild, but we still do some roleplay. Uh, so with that being said, Right as you come in, you see the uh, you see the statue to the main here, and all the offerings. Tried to keep it as lore appropriate as I could. Uh, had to have a little fun with the yarn ball and whatnot. But um, those of you who are familiar with the property, you know that right across this bridge over here, this uh, is originally nothing but an empty horse stable. And I went ahead and turned this stable into an inn, and I call it the Two Moons Inn. So, uh, and again, a lot of it is Khajiiti um, style. And you'll notice there's two main themes around this house. One is Khajiit, and the other is uh, Dwemer. I like a lot of Dwemer stuff around here. Some people call me a lore breaker. Uh, you people can suck my balls. So anyway, um... This is the uh, Two Moons Inn. You come to the left, there's kind of like a trading post here. And uh, with the trading post, you know, you see the camel here with the export wagon. Uh, some trading goods. And then if we come on back, there's a little secret. And uh, back here you'll find Kiari the Smuggler who is a NPC fence that you can get from the Thieves Guild. Uh, no questions, only gold and wares. The uh, Thieves Guild quest line. But anyway, I put her back here and kind of turned it into a little smoking pit, so it's pretty cool. So, uh, so we have the little forbidden alley behind the merchant station here. And then we come inside, and this is the Two Moons Inn here. You see the uh, walk-in is a dining area and a place for people to kind of hang out and role-play. We have a cooking station here and a merchant that anyone can Anything use. I can do for you? You can sell whatever you like or, you know, whatever you want. Um, so that's the downstairs here. One of my favorite places in the house, for sure. And then we come upstairs, and this is a big utility place. This is where a lot of the guildies uh, come to use all the crafting stations. I have every crafting station in-game um, available in this house here. So everything from the painting station, woodwork, blacksmith, clothing. Uh, woodwork and clothing are actually seducer set, just a simple magic set for those who use magic. Uh, enchanting and uh, alchemy here. And then some more beds and stuff, and uh, yeah, so so this is the cream of the crop up here. Everybody likes to be able to take advantage of these crafting stations that are always here and always available. So so it's legit. Come down here a little bit. I have a couple more of the dwarven mounts, one of the bear here. And then the spider here. And uh, come over here and you'll see the wolf. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you guys something inside. How dare I? This is Fred the Camel. He pokes his head in here. He's a cute little guy. What's up, Fred? And if you just give Fred an apple over here, that seems what he is interested in. Couple more miscellaneous uh, decorations here. That boat you get from the master achieving, or the master achieving, the master uh, fishing achievement, master angler. Back here, I kind of gave it a dark twist and threw in a prison. 
couple of stocks. This is where you can find the test dummy if you ever want to come here and test your DPS. That's also pretty helpful. It's a live test dummy, so you just hit it and uh, it'll give you DPS readings a few seconds later. And then a jail cell with a couple of these dead guys in it. And again, just a fun place to come over and RP if you want to. Maybe pick up someone and lock them in the jail cell. Shout out to Boogaloo. Um, oh, and then we, uh, before we go over, we'll come in on this side here, and this is the garden, another one of my favorite places. So I have a Khajiit tune, uh, and I have this guy, Phil the Imperial, and, uh, the garden is more of a shout-out to Phil, with all the Imperial statues up front, the Emperor statue here, and then it's just kind of surrounded by a bunch of flowers, and it's pretty cool, I like it. I won't disclose how much uh, in real life money I spent on this place, but that's besides the point. And then we come up here, and this is the arena, the guild. We do fight nights here, you know, every now and then. We gather everybody. Um, plenty of room up here in the stands for people to uh, enjoy the fights. And then down here is where the gladiators fight. I have died many times on this soil. Many times. Oh, and up here is the suites. That's where I usually watch the fights from. While the peasants watch them over there. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, so that's pretty much all of the outside of Serenity State of Falls. As you notice, I did add a whole bunch of trees and whatnot. I like the rainforest kind of look, so I kind of littered the place with trees and... Um, gave it that messy nature look, which I like, so. So anyway, we come in and we head inside. First thing you'll notice when we come inside is I have a display here of all of the veteran busts. Um, from the veteran dungeons I've done. I just like a glowy, gold, shiny thing, so. I put this here, and it's a nice eye catcher right when you walk in the door. And then over here on this wing of the house is a uh, commons area, kind of a place to hang out, RP, same kind of thing. Um, and then over here is kind of a hallway, it's like a trophy hallway, where I put all the other trophies from all the other dungeons. Mixed with some art, kind of just a simple look, if you will. And then we come upstairs, and upstairs are my office slash personal quarters, if you will. Uh, right here is the really badass Morrowind model. This thing's awesome. I love it. If you haven't gotten the Morrowind DLC, I strongly recommend you do. It's pretty fun. Here's my office, again, with the uh, Khajiiti theme uh, pretty prevalent in here. Here's the desk. If you're a lore geek or a role player, I put these books here and uh, I put them here uh, very strategically. Kind of fits in with the RP of the of the uh, the lore of the RP of our guild here. And then back here behind this wall is the uh, personal quarters. Nothing special. A little personal skooma lab so I can get high. That's about it. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Join the Kuza clan.